Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 105. The Black Mesa compound is maintained at a pleasant 68 degrees at all times. beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event of an emergency, passengers are to remain seated and await further instruction. If it is necessary to exit the train, disabled personnel should be evacuated first. Please stay away from electrified rails and proceed to an emergency station until assistance arrives. Do you have a 
friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team, immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you have an associate with a background in the areas of theoretical physics, biotechnology, or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting team. The Black Mesa facility is an equal opportunity employer. your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. Morning, Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. You know, Barney's been pretty scarce around these parts. Guess his bar tab must have finally caught up with him. Put some pep in that step, Freeman. You're late enough as it is. Why you even bother putting in extra hours down at the hazard course? <laughs> like you'll ever do more than flip a switch or push a button around here. To think, Mom wanted me to waste my money sleeping through college courses when now I'm getting paid to sleep out here. Go on, get. How am I supposed to catch my beauty sleep when you're staring at me like that? Has anybody ever told you you're a cunning linguist? Aw oh, man, you cut the ponytail. Sell out. Say hi to Dr. Cross for me. Be sure to stop by the front desk. Dr. Kleiner's been looking for you. Sorry, buddy. I got a job to do. Hey, Mr. Freeman. I had a bunch of messages for you, but we had a system crash about, I don't know, 20 minutes ago, and I'm still trying to find my files. Just one of those days, I guess. They were also having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Gordo, you're on sundial and we need you on stopwatch. Hop to it. Time to make tracks, Gordon. Doctor, horn. Please call. What are you doing still running around up here? Four. We've been waiting all morning to begin the experiment. Gordon, please, go do what you've been hired to do. Shouldn't you be doing the same? You'll just have to wait until after the test.
Freeman. Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. We can talk at lunch, Gordon. Hey, it's happening! Cut it out! What the hell is going on up there? My horoscope was correct. Did someone pull this fire alarm or something? Come on, Gordon. What are you trying to do? Get me into trouble? Murtaugh. Murtaugh, come in. Yeah, yeah, I'm here. What the hell is going on up there? Uh, we had a little accident up here, sorry. Yeah, well, that better be the last accident you have today. Understood? Ah, uh, copy. Damn, Gordon. Security. Good morning, Dr. Freeman. There was someone downstairs asking about you. Or was it upstairs? Gordon, I'm in the middle of something here. Ah, nothing like the morning of a big test. I can't remember the last time I've seen the lab abuzz with such excitement. Indeed, quite invigorating. Ta-ta! Personally, I prefer non-Euclidean geometry. There was a coolant leak earlier, but the thermal protection system seems to be online now. Those TPS reports have gotten progressively worse. Hard to find good help these days. Yes, about that. We're going to need you to come in this weekend. What? I've already made plans! Oh, don't worry. You can always attend the next convention. Drat. How is the debugging procedure coming along? What is that symbol there? No, this one. That's a finger smudge. You forgot to carry the two, or was it the three? Somebody get me a calculator. I don't know about that, Dr. Truman. Seems to me that he's just spouting buzzwords in his research papers that he picked up from perusing popular scientific periodicals. <sighs> Another improper use of the Boltzmann constant. Good heavens, the buffoon spelled Chandra Sekar limit incorrectly. And what in the blue place is a, is a raffle copter? Got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. There's been a lot of suits coming and going. Probably Union Busters. Can't let you through. Not with Big Brother watching. Look, buddy, I don't stand around and stare at you all day. Well, I do, but that's because it's my job. So, go do yours. Oh boy, look sharp. Here comes the administrator. Gotcha. Oh, man, I got you good. There are a lot of suits walking around today. Try to look busy. you look at that? Freeman actually did show up for work this morning. Looks like somebody here owes me lunch. Well, good morning, Freeman. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. There's a pepperoni pizza in my near future. Yes, hope you choke on it. 
gonna get me one of them jumbo-sized Retta grape sodas. Hoo-hoo-hoo. Man, I'm working up a mean hunger just thinking about it. You're thinking of something. Mmm-mm. What a rudder. Who, who creates these stupid trees? I'll meet up with you after my shift's over. The sample was just sent down to the test chamber. Big day today, eh, Freeman? Good morning, Gordon. You're living in the past. That experiment is single-handedly responsible for inspiring my career in science. How much recognition do you think you're going to get for reproduction, though? You should focus on inventing something new and unique. He does have a point. Oh, but this is more than replication, I assure you. For one, it shows how far our field has come you since the no original study was published, on, do you? and to say nothing of the modern perspective necessary to monitor its influence. I mean, combined with today's technology, I've recreated- Bah! I can't stand to hear another word of this malarkey. Don't mind him. But here's something to think about for the next time. You and your sugar-coated air socks are absolutely full of it. Creativity is the art of hiding your influence. Now let's get back to work. We should at least try to look busy. Stop! Doctor! Emergency! Are you certain it's Doctor. irreducibly Emergency. complex? Please report to... Processing Something plan. about that rings true. Hello, Dr. Cross. Uh, hello, Dr. Cross. Hello, Dr. Cross. No, no, no. Close yourself, Oscar. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy seeing you here. Greetings, my little petri dish. Ah, Dr. Cross, fancy meeting you. In this location. Here, yes. No, damn it. Hello, Dr. Cross. Just a minute, Gordon. Agent Allen, report to Administration Sub Level 2. Morning, champ. Hello. Another day, another dollar. These double shifts are starting to get to me. I'm at the point now where I have to drink a cup just to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Cheers. Why do you insist on picking over everything in my lab? Can this wait till I'm off break? They're serving Salisbury surprise in the cafeteria. Again. What the hell? <laughs> you think you can fix the vending machine too, college boy? We will never hear the end of this. Yeah, you best make like an atom and split. Cause uh, that was, um, that was you-know-who's lunch. You better make like a prom dress and take off. You better make like diarrhea and run. You better make like a missile and cruise. You better make like a baby and head out. You better make like traffic and jam. Just leave me out of this. Believe you me, I won't be taking the blame for this one. They've been paging you all morning, Dr. Freeman. Best get downstairs before you cause any more disasters. Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? Triple pleated khakis, preposterous. And these ludicrous penny loafers. Nobody here has an eye for fashion. Does this lab coat make me look fat?
Rat. No toilet paper. Be a dear and fetch me a roll of toilet paper. Uh, hello? Hello? Could somebody get me some toilet paper? Oh, thank heavens. I'm in dire need of some toilet paper. Remember my days in the hazardous environment suit? Of course, at the time, it was Mark III. Mind you, the base color wasn't so loud, and the helmet wasn't optional, or ventilated. There wasn't an integrated waste disposal system, either. Count your lucky stars. Have you ever seen those electromyographic sensors in the old biomechatronic Mark I? A marvel of modern engineering. I worked on the underwater breathing apparatus for the suit, but it was eventually discarded. I say, that suit certainly flatters your fundament. Please excuse me, Gordon. Right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Oh yeah, before I forget, me and the boys were thinking about some poker tonight. I'll keep you posted. Knock them dead down there, Gordon. Gordon. that last fluctuation. It's nothing to worry about. Hmm. We should harness the remaining photonic energy to ensure resonance control. Double check the Brewster's plate's angles and make sure the superluminescent diodes are protected from optical feedback. How curious. The Acousto-Optic Modulators are on the fritz again. 
I assure you, we've compensated for any contingency. What's up, Doc? Whew, I'm bushed. Standing around can take a lot out of you. I think we could all use a little R&R, &R, know what I mean? Days like this make me glad all I have to do is just stand around and look pretty. Look at all these white coats running around like chickens with their heads cut off. Not for me, no sir. I was never cut out for the scientific techno babble. Sure as hell don't know how a quark works, but the quarks do and that's the important thing. Pray tell, where could one find more toner Freeman? than the fax machine? I never thought of it that way. If another instrument malfunctions today, I'm going to explode. Please relax. Things could be much, much worse. Ah, Gordon. There you are. Nice of you to finally join us, Doctor. We've just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of a gamble, but we needed the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather he went to some lengths to get it. Mm. They're waiting for you, Gordon. In the test chamber. Right. Come on, then. I'll walk you down. Eli has been busy making last-minute preparations for the new experiment. Greetings, Eli. Morning, Izzy. I trust this morning finds you well. Gordon, good morning. I'm glad you're here. These last-minute changes, they're a bit strange to just... Oh! It's about to go critical. What in the blazes is going on with our equipment? Oh, it was never meant to do this in the first place. Oh. It's nothing we can't handle ourselves, Eli. Run along, Gordon. We'll be but a moment. Beckrell's ghost. The radiation level is off the charts. You know, this is far from the glory I had envisioned as an undergrad. How so? I've got two PhDs and an Ersted medal, yet I find myself doing work best suited for an intern. Please, you do very meaningful work here. Really? Push that button. Walk over here. Push this one. Stand and stare at the screen. Walk back over there. Push another button. Again. Come now, you're overreacting. I don't know how much longer I can abide these perfunctory tasks. I need more time for myself. Ha! Huh. Don't kid yourself. You wouldn't know what to do with free time if you even had any. That tears it. I'm going to check with the office upstairs and see how many vacation days I've accrued over the past 25 years. It's high time I took a break from all this. Certainly. But before you do, activate the electron multiplier and report the reading from the micro-channel plates. Have you attenuated the displacement beacon signal? Oh, there you are. Everybody's been looking for you, hombre. Ah, oh, here he is. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedure today, Gordon. Yes, yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And potentially the most unstable. Now, as long as we follow standard insertion procedures, everything will be fine. I don't know how you can say that. Although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. I just don't feel... Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. 
We've assured the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well, go ahead. Let's let him in now. You're just postponing the inevitable. Just go on and get it over with. Catching the opening night jitters, Gordon? Can't say I blame you. Don't worry, Dr. Freeman. You'll do just fine. Are you waiting for something, Gordon? He's just savoring the moment. One day he'll look back to this as the beginning of his illustrious career. There's no need for performance anxiety, Dr. Freeman. Of course not. You're a seasoned pro by now. The higher-ups will have our heads if we delay this experiment any longer. Once this is all over, you can slip out of that HEV and get back to the real work. Paperwork. Lots and lots of paperwork. Testing. Testing. <clears throat> Everything seems to be in order. All right, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. Now, if you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, that way we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Very good. We'll take it from here. Power to stage one emitters in three, two, one. I'm seeing predictable phaser rays. Stage two emitters activating now. Uh, Gordon, we cannot predict how long the system can operate at this level or how long the reading will take, but please work as quickly as you can. Overhead capacitors to 105%. Uh, it's probably not a problem. Probably. But I'm showing a small discrepancy in... Well, no. It's well with an acceptable balance again. Sustaining sequence. We've just been informed that the sample is ready, for it. It should be coming up to you at any moment. Look to the delivery system for your specimen. Standard insertion for non-standard specimen. Go ahead, Gordon. Slot the carrier into the house. <laughs> Shut it down! Someone get him out of there and shut it down! It's not... It's not shutting down! Move down! Ah! 